This is my tutorial for a Sleepy Hollow Dead and Breakfast Peekaboo Tumbler. I didn't feel like going outside to spray paint. It is hot as a mug over here in Maryland, y'all. So I'm using Miss Lillian's paints to base paint my tumbler. You can use any black or orange acrylic paint though. Now, you'll notice how I have my usual two tumblers spinning. If you don't know, I make two tumblers because nine times out of 10, I have no idea what I'm doing when I start these tutorials. I have a vision and I just start playing. So for one of the tumblers, I do a step so I know what I'm doing. Then I record myself doing that same step for the second tumbler. Well, let, let's just say that that practice tumbler comes in handy with this design. You'll soon see it disappear because we'll be having a pivot moment in a little bit. Let this glitter layer cure, seal with a coat of epoxy, and they'll be ready for the next step. For some of my SVGs, I was lazy this week, and I hopped on to Creative Fabrica and grabbed some Halloween silhouette designs. There were lots of cute ones to choose from. If you'd like to try out Creative Fabrica, I'll have a link below where you can try it out for 30 days for a dollar. While our paint dries, let's mix some glitters for our spooky sky. As you can see, that second tumbler is no longer with us because I hit my pivot moment pretty much in the last step when we added our stencils. In my original plan, I wanted the peekaboo to include the house, graveyard, scarecrow, and tree. But after trying to pull up all those intricate pieces, and then I didn't like how the house no longer really blended in with the rest of the tumbler, I was like, this ain't happening. So instead, I decided to just do the bats and the jack-o'-lantern as the peekaboo and then do the rest in vinyl.
When you're finished pulling your stencils, make sure your glitter layer is nice and cured, seal with a clear sealer, and then epoxy till smooth. Then you'll be ready to start adding your decals. my decals into the background. I'll be mixing Black Pearl from PDB Creative Studio to add a spooky misty effect. I'll also be adding bright green from the Peacock series from Woods Goodies. But I don't want to cover my jack-o'-lantern faces on the bottom with micas, so to prevent that, I'm recovering them with stencil vinyl. Then I'll be pulling the vinyl after the epoxy has set up a little bit. Because I used fast set epoxy, I only let my tumbler spin for about five to 10 minutes and then I pulled up my stencils. Let cure, then we'll be ready to add our outlines. Now, if you guys haven't noticed, pulling the vinyl stencils after the epoxy setup made this really cool 3D type effect. Now, I was just gonna go ahead and epoxy over it, which we're gonna do in this next step to seal my vinyl outlines. But for my very last coat, I'll be adding those stencils again to keep this effect because I'm really digging it, y'all. I mean, you, of course, don't have to, but I'm totally gonna do it. And you don't have to add this extra glitter that I'm adding to my night sky right now either, but y'all know me by now, come on. I've had several comments about people struggling with the laser water slide. So try the inkjet water slide instead. I tried it for this tumbler and it came out just fine, but just be sure to seal your inkjet water slide with a clear sealer if you use the inkjet version. You don't have to seal the laser version, but you do have to seal the inkjet version. Even though we're using laser to print our image, the water slide itself needs to be sealed as well, or it turns kind of mushy when you put it in the water, making it almost impossible to apply without ripping your image.
since I've already have my little jack-o'-lantern faces covered, I went ahead and added a little bit more bright green magic peacock series to my mist at the bottom. I really wanted to bring it out more to make it look really eerie and like spooky, misty, I don't know, whatever -y. Y'all know what I mean. It looks cool. I love it. Hey guys, because this is my last coat, I used regular artist resin, so I set my timer for 90 minutes, but ended up only waiting about an hour. So I checked it and it seemed set up enough, so I just went ahead and pulled my stencil after about, yeah, it was about an hour, it was an hour. I set it for 90 minutes, but came back when I had like, what's what's 32 minus 90, y'all? My brain is fried, 32, 32 minus 90. Ooh, hmm. Six, uh, no, no. Oh my gosh, I feel like I should know this. I homeschool, 58 minutes, 58 minutes. Now, don't get me wrong, I love how this turned out. I think the jack-o'-lantern faces at the bottom are so cool, but I am so regretting not doing this 3D effect with my bats. I guess, to, I, what kind, what, what can we call this? Like kind of epoxy peekaboo? I don't know, but I did start another Tumblr to see how it would look and yes, y'all. I am loving this look, so be prepared to see it again. That's it guys! Thank you so much for watching my tutorial. A huge thank you to all of my Patreon and channel members. Your support is literally everything. Have fun making your Sleepy Hollow Dead and Breakfast tumblers, and I'll see you again next time.